This is the future of genetic testing. We've created a factory, essentially, a genomics factory, that can process thousands of samples a day without human intervention. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that makes you worried about your job security. But these robots are actually here to lend a hand. Welcome to Council in South San Francisco, home to one of the world's first automated DNA testing labs. It's definitely a beautiful symphony of chaos. Kyle Lapham customizes the robots at the heart of the operation. He says that automation is the best way to meet the growing demand for genetic testing. So we've designed systems to very accurately and precisely move tiny bits of fluid from place to place. Our robots perform these experiments with insanely high precision. It's also you can get your genes tested at a more reasonable price. The more we know about our bodies, the more we can customize the treatment. In some cases, we're looking for genes that parents could pass on to their children. In other cases, it's knowing your risk factors for getting cancer. So each one of these tubes is a patient. They all now need to be sorted. The system is running 24 hours a day and not waiting for people in order to perform the next task. You're going to get a faster turnaround time. But these machines are only as smart as their software. You could actually create paths in space and teach the robot about the places it can and can't go. Which means they'll still have to answer to their human overlords. For now, at least. These robots are essentially, they're dumb. They're also potentially dangerous. The industrial robots that we use are, are, are powerful enough to crush metal. If someone were to be in the space, it would just keep moving right through you. But we have a tremendous system of safety features surrounding them that essentially cut the power. So if I were to so much as stick my finger through there, you hear, you hear a beep. This, this arm just went dead. So they've figured out how to keep employees physically safe. But what about their livelihoods? We've continuously hired clinical laboratory scientists. By having robotics, it allows our scientists to focus on what they're trained on, which is examining complicated genetic data instead of performing menial tasks. Just don't expect these coworkers to take you out for happy hour anytime soon.